This is Italian Football Lover channel my friends. Today I want to talk about why Italian teams are so unattractive in Champions League and in the European Cups. Uh, you can subscribe to my channel, watch my videos. Thank you very much. Let's go back to 80s and 90s. And in all years, uh, Serie A was the best league in the world and uh, big stars uh, were playing in Serie A and especially Milan was so strong in the 80s they have legend team and uh, Juventus got uh, uh, Milan and Juventus got so many good results in Champions League games uh, but Milan was the most successful team in Champions League uh, of uh, Italy's history uh, after a legend and talented players has been retired uh, Serie A and Italian football uh, started to go down uh, but uh, but as you know, uh, last championship of Italy in Champions League uh, has been uh, has been got by uh, Inter Milan in 2010 under the management of Jose Mourinho. Inter won 2-0 uh, against Bayern Munich in Champions League final, and uh, they got the Champions League cup. Uh, but uh, in last 12 years, any Italian team couldn't win Champions League Cup. 2015, Ju Juventus played final against Barcelona, but they lost 3-1. And again, 2017, last final of Italian Italian team, Juventus played against Real Madrid and they lost 4-1. Uh, really, uh, Real Madrid is the most successful team of Champions League in the history. And uh, every time Real Madrid is... Uh, dominating Champions League, uh, this is a truth. But uh, in the uh, in the last years, English teams are uh, standing out, and they are so strong, uh, so strong financially, and uh, they are transferring best players. For instance, Manchester City, Liverpool, Chelsea, and it's so hard to beat English teams. But just Real Madrid, Madrid achieved to beat uh, English teams this season. Uh, but uh, in the uh, recent years, Serie A is ascending again. But uh, I I know that uh, I am sure of that. Milan is a promising team with talented young players. But they need uh, they need a more time. Uh, to be successful in Champions League, maybe two or three years later, Milan uh, can play quarter, quarter final or semi final in Champions League. I am hopeful of a uh, Milan team. But uh, in the old days, in the 80s and 90s, uh, players, uh, players are playing the football with their spirit, with their soul. Uh, but now, uh, in today's world, money is more important than spirit and soul. Uh, I am so sorry of this because uh, I like to play with my soul. I like to watch this game uh, with my soul, with my spirit. But uh, today's reality is money. Uh, if you are strong financially, you are the number one. But if you don't have enough uh, financial strength, you are going down after pandemic process uh, italian teams uh, has lost their financial strength and uh, they go down again and they got so bad results in the european cups uh, in the recent years but really ac milan team is growing up year by year and they are so promising team i trust uh, milan in uh, in the upcoming years uh, in my opinion, they will be successful in Champions League. But uh, this is reality. Real Madrid is the king of Champions League. And English teams are so strong. And it's so hard to beat English teams. Uh, although everything, uh, Italian national team won 2020 European Cup. And uh, every time, uh, Italy is reality in football. Uh, we will see what will be happen uh, in the next years for Italian teams uh, in Champions League and in the European Cups. But last season, uh, Roma won the Conference League under the management of Jose Mourinho. Uh, I want to indicate that all my comments like this about Italian teams in 
uh, European Cups. You can subscribe to my channel, watch my videos. You can write your comments down below related to this issue. Uh, thank you very much. See you on my next videos, beautiful people. Bye.